three textures. You're going to want these three right here. These two you can get from the starter content under textures. And this one I'll probably send you a link for in the description. But you can experiment with whatever you're using or whatever for this effect. But what you're going to first do is create a material. I'm going to name this lava. Open it up and scroll down. Check PN triangles and crack free displacement. And then you're going to want to import these other two. Just drag them in like that. Plug in your normals. And then what you're going to want to do is get two multipliers. Hold an M and you get them. And, click. and then you want to plug these in. Plug this into world displacement. And then you want to get a constant value. And then you want to make this about 100. And then you want to get a vertex normal WS under coordinates. And then when I hit apply, you should get something. But first, get a constant under tessellation multiplier and make it about 5. These two values you might want to change depending on the actual size of whatever you're putting the material on. Say for example this size, this is the default in the template, and that size will probably be relevant to what these values are. So let's just wait for the shader up to finish, and while I wait I'll probably just tab because it goes faster so you can skip this if you want okay so you get this effect looks like a big blob but whatever you see here shouldn't matter what you want to see is what goes on this so if we drag it on you'll get something like this and you can see it makes this little lava texture with a 3D effect. But we, we want these waves to be moving, so what we're going to do for this is make a pattern. We also want a texture coordinate right here. Um, you should also get these, copy and paste, and plug them into these UVs right here. Because you want to be able to scale the textures to whatever benefits you best and this is going to this panel right here because this is the tessellation this is basically going to show you the speed of the waves I'm probably going to make it these values right here to mix it up and these I'm probably going to do the same thing only make them negative Bad. So negative zero point zero zero two dot, and this one maybe the same thing. Negative zero point zero zero three. Negative zero point zero zero two. This is the speed, and the texture coordinates. The, these will be the size of the actual texture or normal because they're separate. And this will be how many waves are actually in. You don't want too many or it'll look uh, a bit spiky. So now we've applied and let's wait for this to complete and you can see what we get. You can also mess with the emissive color, the roughness, etc. for whatever you're doing. But I'm just going to keep it simple. Okay, so you can see you got this, you can see the waves actually move, and you can see here, wait, they're actually moving. We might want to make this, but this is basically it, but you might want to mess with some of these values. For example, um, we should make these a bit faster, 0 0.03, yeah, just remove that 0 and add that. 
and now just the wave will be a faster speed. Yes, here we go. See that? And it applies here. So now we got this, you know, decent looking 3D wave effect. This also works, for example, I'll show you water. Um, I literally just do this. Replace this lava texture with the water. And I, I'd actually make a few adjustments, but this will just show you like what it'll, it'll look like. While that loads up, I'll show you what I've done with my water as well in this level. I have showcases of this game on my channel. Just go to my videos. But yeah, you can see I did this with the water. I think it looks really nice with the fog. And yeah, this is a good effect. So, um, yeah, it's finished and you can see now it's water. So, um, yeah. So that'll be it. Um, just like the video and maybe I'll give out more. Goodbye.